Hello, good afternoon sa mga nakikinig ngayon sa Bounce Back Academy at the Practical uh, Learning Company. Ngayon ay um, ang ating webinar for today is Google Classroom for Education. So first and foremost, I'd like to thank everybody for your support for Bounce Back uh, Philippines. Ngayon ay Bounce Back Global na tayo dahil nasa ibang bansa na rin si Bounce Back. And I'd like to thank everyone na palagi kayo nagpa-participate sa mga free webinars natin. And um, ang, ang pinaka-objective po ng Bounce Back is makatulong tayo sa isa't isa. So whether you're a teacher, you're an entrepreneur, freelancer, or just a citizen, kailangan magtutulong-tulungan tayo, tayo para we together will bounce back from the crisis. Okay? So itong webinar na to, we're going to do this regularly para po tayong matuto. And um, we will create also mga programs para makatulong po sa inyo. Okay? So Bounce Back PH consists of many experts, many professionals uh, that can really create mga programs wherein uh, you can be assisted through education, financial assistance, through um, mentorship, and through all sorts of different programs. Okay. So please share itong live stream na to and please create watch parties so that marami tayong matutulungan at maraming uh, mga teachers and also non-teachers will, will, um, will learn a new skill which is uh, from Google. Okay. So Google Classroom for Education. Okay. So maraming salamat. Uh, without further ado, we'll... Welcome now your trainers for today for uh, Google Education. Yeah, Jalix, please take it away. Thank you very much. All right, so um, magandang hapon po. Good afternoon to all of our viewers in the Philippines and around the globe. Um, welcome to G Suite for Education, um, especially on Google Classroom for Education session this afternoon. Um, ako po si JD at kasama ko po ang aking mga fellow Google Certified Educators and mamaya po iisa-isahin ko po silang i-introduce sa inyong lahat. So... Uh, um, let me just share my screen. And okay. Alright, so um, sa atin pong mga kaibigan uh, na nanonood po sa Facebook um, through the Practical Learning Company Facebook page, Okay, and sa YouTube, um, ang session natin po ngayong hapon is Google Classroom for Education. Ang makakasama niyo po ay kami pong apat. Ako po si JD Mercado, isa po akong Google, Google for Education Certified Trainer and Innovator. Kasama ko po si Ms. Roxanne Fuentes. Um, siya po ay mula sa Cagayan de Oro City. Um, siya rin po ay isang Google for Education Certified Innovator. Okay, ang pangatlo po ay si Miss Rowena Reyes. Siya po ay isang teacher, uh, head teacher sa uh, Makati Science High School at ngayon ay siya po ay nasa Department of Education, um, Educational Technology Unit at marami po silang mga tinutulungan ng mga teachers sa akong bansa. Siya po ay isang Google Certified Educator. And lastly, Isa pong guro mula sa Andres Bonifacio Integrated School sa Division ng Mandaluyong. Isa rin pong Google Certified Educator. We have Ma'am Dorothy Reyes. So kami po ang makakasama po ninyo ngayong hapon. Okay? Um, kung mapapansin niyo po, meron po kaming um, label na mga Google Certified Educators. Mamaya po um, sa atin pong um, question and answer portion, pwede niyo pong tanungin sa amin kung paano po namin kayo matutulungan on, ha uh, on becoming a Google Certified Educator as well. Again, ang session na po ito ay powered by the Practical Learning Company, um, Google Educators Group Philippines at QSR. Okay? So, 
Again, ang session po natin is about Google Classroom. Ano po ba si Google Classroom? Kagabi po, napanood niyo po yung session ni Sir Gary and Sir Adrian on the G Suite for Education at napahapya po, napahapya one po nila yung Google Classroom. But um Naniniwala po kami na ang Google Classroom po ay isang powerful application po para sa mga teachers at para sa mga students po, lalong-lalo na ngayong panahon na ito. Okay? So ano po ang Google Classroom? Google Classroom is an online learning management system that allows you to, number one, manage coursework. Okay? Since all of the coursework or assignments po ay nasa Google Classroom o nasa isang platform lang po, it would be beneficial for the teacher and for the students to work together or accomplish the coursework na meron po doon sa kanilang klase. Second, organized assignment. Ang kagandahan po sa Google Classroom is all of the assignments po na ibibigay ni teachers sa mga students ay nasa isang page lang po and all of the students will get updated kung meron na po silang bagong assignment or may assignment po sila na kailangan gawin or kailangan habulin. Ayan po. And third, of course, since it uh, Google Classroom um, allow all the teachers and the students in the same platform, it boosts collaboration among the stakeholders of the class. Mamaya po, makikita ninyo, mapapanood po ninyo, na hindi lang po teacher ang, ang student ang nasa loob ng isang classroom. Meron din po or possible din po na sa isang Google Classroom, nandun din po yung parent or guardian ng mga estudyante. Pati po yung mga supervisors or division office or principal, pwede po silang ma-invite inside the Google Classroom para po monitor nila yung activities na binibigay po ng mga guro sa kanilang mga estudyante. Ayan, so it really boosts um, the collaboration inside the classroom. And next, it foster better communication. And um, the, kaya po sinabi na better communication because ang Google Classroom po um, allows you to um, communicate with, with the students. Hindi lang po within Google Classroom. Also, for example, in Gmail, ganyan. So instead of you conducting or having your class in a, uh, for example, in a, in a messenger chat, no? Uh, medyo po mahirap i-manage yung communication um, in a group chat. So might as well transfer your class in a Google Classroom para mas better or better yung communication among your students. Okay? Ayan. So um, lahat po ng mga isashare namin sa inyo, actually ibibigay po namin lahat ng alam namin tungkol sa Google Classroom this afternoon. But if gusto nyo pong malaman or gusto nyo po at your own pace, at your own time, malaman po yung mga uh, pwedeng gawin ni Google Classroom, pwede po kayong pumunta sa edu.google.com slash teacher center. So ngayon, pupunta po ako doon ngayon para makita nyo po yung itsura niya. So this is the Google for Education Teacher Center and what you need to do is just go to product guides and then go to Google Classroom and makikita po ninyo yung mga resources po, yung mga step one by one like let's say what is Google Classroom, accessing Google Classroom, adding students to a class. So nandiyan po yan lahat. So for example, after this session, meron po kayong gustong malaman ulit or uh, balikan, pwede nyo po balikan um, or puntahan ito pong um, portal na to, itong Teacher Center. Okay? And then, meron din po silang Teacher's Lounge where you can find tips and tricks from teachers like you. Ayan, so how to copy a course, how to create a class in Google Classroom, how to create a quiz. Ayan, and then marami pa pong mga videos na pwede nyo pong pakinabangan in order to manage your Google Classroom better. Okay, ayan. So marami po tayo dyan mga samples on um, Google Classroom. Okay? So hindi na po natin patatagalin. Um, pero as early as now, gusto ko po sanang i-announce that if you want to bring Google Classroom in your class, um, you may send an email to QSR um, and to into their email education at qsr.com.ph. Okay, so if again, um, if you want to bring G Suite for Education in your school or in your um in your division, okay, in your city, you can email education at qsr.com.ph. And 
if you want to collaborate with us, um, mga Google certified educators, uh, uh, mga Google enthusiasts, you can like our page and join our community. We have a Facebook uh, page and Facebook group, which is GEG Philippines. You just search it in Facebook and um, nandun po kami. Just say hi to us and we will answer any questions that you have. Okay, so balik lang po ako dito. And I'm gonna remove my screen. So, kamusta po ang uh, aking mga fellow Google Certified Educators? Let's start with Ms. Wen. Can you say hi? Hi, JD. Okay naman. I'm still in the house, but productive. Great. Okay. Now, let's have Ma'am Dorothy. Hi. Hi, Sir JD. Good afternoon, everyone. We are actually having... 18,000 um, viewers right now. So, kamusta po tayong lahat? Okay, and last, we have Ma'am Roxanne Fuentes from Cagayan de Oro. <laughs> yes. Hello, Sir JD, Ma'am Weng, Ma'am Dorothy. I'm excited to start our session already para marami ring matutunan yung mga viewers natin today. All right. So before we start with our um, Google Classroom session, gusto ko lang i-orient ang mga audience natin this afternoon. So ang kagandahan po sa pag uh, pag-attend niyo nitong workshop na to, itong webinar na to, um uh, makikita niyo po yung different perspective po ng Google Classroom. So we have Ma'am Dorothy below, siya po ay for example, siya po ay magiging English teacher. All right? Siya po ay teacher. Um, in this webinar. And then we have Ma'am Ma Weng Reyes. Siya po ay teacher din. Siya po ay math teacher. So, ano lang po yun for the purpose of demonstration. At kami po ni Ma'am Roxanne Fuentes, kami po ay magiging students. So, papakita po namin, hindi lang yung, kakaya, yung view o perspective po ng mga teachers sa paggamit ng Google Classroom, but also, yung perspective po ng student. Pati yung, for example, may student na active sa class, pati mayroong student na hindi masyadong active. So, ano yung pwede natin gawin as a teacher para dito sa mga estudyante na to na kailangan ng additional attention from the teachers. No? So, um, I, I, I hope I, samahan niyo po kami sa susunod na dalawang oras. Um, lahat po nang alam namin about Google Classroom ay isi-share po namin sa inyo. If you have questions po sa dami po ng mga viewers natin ngayon, we will accommodate your questions po after na po ng lahat ng mga activities and sessions. Okay? Ready na ba tayo mga ma'am? Ready. <laughs> All right, good. Okay, so we will start with Ma'am Dorothy. Ayan, hello po. Hi, teachers. So right now, we are going to share with you, sabi nga ni Sir JD, I will be acting as your um, teacher for today. So we have different roles. So allow me to share my screen right now. Ayan, share lang natin. Kita na po ba? Not yet. You have to reshare it um, again. Check it again. Ansa lang natin ha. Alright. Ayaw pa rin. Okay, let's Ayaw try pa this rin. Again. Mm. Ayan. There, ayan, lumabas na. Okay, so, nandyan na po yung ating screen for our classroom. So, as teacher, when you are starting with a class, refresh lang po natin. Is it refreshed? Kita na ba natin? Sir JD, kita po ba? Yes. Um, ang nakikita ko ngayon is yung grade 6 result na student work. Um, let's see, where is it? 
Yon. Ayan. So, yan. Kita na po. Ayan. Okay. Yes, um, yes. This is a viewer perspective of a teacher. So, normally po, si teacher, um, like Sir JD demonstrated kanina, all you have to do is to log in. Ang easiest way for us to log in is just go to classroom.google.com. Ayan po. And then, once you sign up, um, we will just click on the plus button right here. Zoom lang natin. Okay. And then, join class po tayo. Ah, join class if you're a student. If you're a teacher, you create a class. Ayan. Create po tayo ng class right now. So, let us say, for example, I am a teacher for grade 6. Um, sabi natin, result for the subject English. And then, ang section ko is section Rizal. And then, subject ko is English. The main purpose of the class name ko is para madaling makita ni teacher at ni student as well kung ano yung subject or yung title ng klase nila. And then, we just click on Create. Once you created um, your classroom, ito na po yung environment niya. So the title will be seen right here. Nakalagay po dyan, Grade 6 Result English. And then we have Stream, Classroom, at uh, Classwork. And then we have People, and then Grades. Later on, we will explore them one by one. So umpisan po natin with Stream. When you see your Stream, ang nakalagay po dyan is that um, para siyang Facebook timeline lang natin na yung by time na tinos natin, lahat yan mapupunta po rito. Okay? So that is our stream. Mamaya we will explore more of that. And then, classwork assignments natin. For people po, ito yung pinakauna natin gagawin initially since we are creating a classroom pa lamang. Okay? So allow me to add my students. Let us say, for example, I have Miss Rox underscore stream at com. So my student is right there. So makikita natin na nandun na si Miss Rox. And then if we wanted to add more, pwede naman i-copy and paste natin yung mga, kung marami-rami yung sudyante natin, or if you are just adding them one by one, pwede rin Okay, so we have John underscores to at jdsmercado.com. So we have John right here. We will also click on invite. So pwedeng ganon. Or for example, I don't want, uh, hindi pala dapat dito sa klase natin si, si John. All we have to do is to remove. So ganon din po yung option natin. Minsan kasi, lalo na kapag nagka-reshuffle tayo ng klase. Ganun lang po yung gagawin natin. So, we wanted to show on how to add students. Dalawa po kasi yung version natin. First one is through invitation ni teacher by using this icon, yung add natin. While the other one is through class code. Yun naman po yung ipapakita natin later on. Okay? So, paano makikita yung class code? Pwedeng nandito siya sa stream pa lang natin. Kita na siya dyan. Kung medyo maliit, we could just maximize that one. Ayan. So all he needs to do is to copy. For example, we would like to invite um, John inside the classroom. So John, can you join us? Um, John will be represented by Sir JD for today. So Sir JD, kindly join in the classroom by simply typing this one. Okay. So, for example, magjo-join ako sa, ako yung si John, ako, at magjo-join ako sa class na grade 6 Rizal English, sa, at ang teacher ko ay si Ma'am Dorothy. Instead na i-add ako through email ni Ma'am Dorothy, hihingin ko na lang yung code kay Ma'am. So, for example, isulat niya, i-type niya sa group chat namin na, okay class, um, join my, join my um, Google Classroom. So, uh, let me go ahead and share my screen. Okay. By the way, before I join the classroom of Ma'am Dorothy, pakita ko lang 
Okay, so for example, this is the Gmail account of John. Okay, so ito po yung sudyante. Ito po yung account ni sudyante. At nakita nyo, biglang may lumabas na email um, from Mom Dorothy na may class invitation. But I will ignore it just for, for, uh, just for now para lang mapakita ko na yung pangalawang way of joining the class is through the class code para mas madali. Okay, so paano pumunta sa Google Classroom? Yung pinakita ni Ma'am Dorothy kanina ay, par, ay by typing classroom at google.com. Yun yung pinakamabilis, okay? Yun yung pinakamabilis. So for example, ayan, nag-load na. But there's another way of entering Google Classroom. For example, sanay tayo sa Gmail. So ito yung Gmail. Ikiklik ko lang yung Google Apps icon dito sa upper right corner para siyang Rubik's Cube. Okay, so when you click that, may lalabas dyan ng Google Classroom. Kung wala po siya dito sa taas, you just scroll down sa baba at dyan nyo po makikita si Google Classroom. So, i-click lang po. Ayan. So, kapag first time po ng isang estudyante or even a teacher to enter a Google Classroom, ito po yung makikita ninyo. Okay? So, nakalagay po dyan parang welcome to Google Classroom and then I will just click continue. And ito po yung importante po nating masabi sa mga estudyante. Okay? When they enter Google Classroom, they choose they must choose the student profile. Okay? So para po sa mga teacher, ang kiklik po nila is yung I am a teacher. Pero po sa mga student, they must click the I am a student button. Okay? Ayun. So um Ma'am Dorothy, alin dito yung una no? Ay yung yung pink na. No? Yes, sir. All right. Hi. So, yung color. Ay, ne. Um, Mag-join pala ako using the class code. Okay. So, for example, I will ask Ma'am Dorothy. Oh, Ma'am Dorothy, what is my class code? Ikiklik ko lang yung class icon sa upper right corner. At nakalagay dyan, join class. And then, ang class code. So, Ma'am Dorothy, ano nga po yung class code? Can you please dictate? Um, The class code is CUV. UV 5A 4A 5 Z letter Z okay. Zebra 4A 4A So um of course mga teachers hindi niyo naman kailangan i-dictate yung code sa mga estudyante niyo no you just like paste the, the the class code sa group chat niyo para makapasok sila okay and then join Right? So, um, currently, ayan. So, I was able to join the class of Ma'am Dorothy in the quickest way possible by typing the class code of Ma'am Dorothy. Okay? Back to you, Ma'am. All right. Thank you, Sir JD. So, balik naman tayo sa screen ni teacher. So, since nag-join na si Sir JD, makikita natin on my screen. Zoom in ko lang. Okay. Na nag-join na si John sa ating klase. And now, yung kaninang in-invite ko, through adding uh, Miss Rox right here, uh, we are still waiting for Miss Rox to join in. So, yeah, Miss Rox. Puro ipakita rin natin yung screen ni Ma'am Rox on how she will join the class. Ma'am Rox, can you please share your screen okay. para makita ng audience natin on how you will join the class through invitation. Alright. Kita na ba? So, ito yung, um, yes, ito yung screen ni Ma'am yeah. Rox right now. Punta siya ng Google mm -hmm. Classroom. So, pag in-invite ako ng teacher ko using the yung add students, makaka-receive ako ng email sa Gmail ko ng ganito, class invitation, grade 6, result, English result. All I have to do is to click that one and then ito yung lalabas. So, hi, Rox. English teacher invited you to the class grade 6, result, English result. So, all I have to do is just to click the join button. Pag na-click ko na yun, Ayan. It will open na po yung classroom na ginawa ni ma'am. And I'll be part of the class na. So that's very simple lang po. I think that's it. 
All right. So, thank you, Ms. Rock. So, upon accepting, makikita natin, uh, hindi na naka-gray yung, yung screen natin or yung name ni Rox as a student. Okay? Mapapansin natin sa tabi ng name ni John, meron tayong nakalagay dito na invite guardian. Okay? So, there is actually an option na isama natin ang guardian natin, the parents or whoever is um, taking care of our students to join in the class. Ito yung makakatulong sa atin kapag tinanong ng magulang, di ba, normally. May assignment ka ba? Wala. So, this time, makakatanggap na notification si guardian na, ah, may homework pala yung bata. Ah, nag-exam na pala sila, nag-quiz. Ito pala yung score niya sa quiz. So, to do that, to invite, and sabi nga natin, our school is um, collaborative not only with our students and teachers, but also with our parents. So, papakita muna natin on how to add our guardians. So, invite guardian lang natin. And then, let us type uh, a name. For example, parent, um, parent at gmail.com. Okay, so inad lang natin siya. Um, this could be added kahit Gmail account yung meron. Yun na may na-expect natin na meron with our, with our teachers. So we have now the email address of the students. Nakapasok na rin yung ating mga guardians. Okay? Alright. So, so Dorothy, for example, um, meron akong gustong i-announce sa mga guardian. I mean, meron akong big announcement sa kanila. Paano ko ibibigay sa kanila yung email, for example? Um, through, uh, we could actually use, marami tayong options. We have Google Calendar, which is, yun yung pinakamaganda siguro, no? Na, na option natin. What else pa ba, Sir or, JD? Or just click that email all guardians nasa top, nasa ibabaw ng parent at gmail.com. No, you go back, and then there's a button there, email all guardians. Mm -hmm. Ah, all right. So, this one, email all guardians. There. Ayan. So, Chris, kung meron po kayong assignment, ay, may, meron po kayong announcement po para sa mga um, uh, guardians or parents, pwede po ninyong gawin yun. You just click that email all guardians para po inform po ang mga guardians on the activities and progress of your students. Right. Right. So, tuloy na po natin. Okay, going back to the classroom. So, meron na tayong student. Kasama na natin si um, guardians natin. They are with us through our guardians options. Meron din po kasi tayo ngayong option, lalo na with this kind of new normal natin. It is best for us to take advantage of uh, of most of the time of the students, lalo na hindi lahat eh, online lagi. Uh, what we do is we practice yung tinatawag natin na project-based learning or yung nagko-collaborate si teachers. Isang project lang pero multiple na yung uh, multiple na yung subjects na nata-target nun. For that, I would like to invite, eto, sa Google Classroom kasi we are not limited to one teacher. Hindi to yung klase ko lang, so ako lang with my students. Pwede naman pong ganun, but there is also an option na mag-collaborate ako with another teacher by simply clicking on the teacher's um, section natin dito. Click ko lang, invite teacher, and then itatype ko po rito yung ating teacher, which is Ms. Weng. We have math, math teacher si Mamun. Math underscore teacher at KDS na agoda. Agoda. So, I'll just invite Ms. Wang to be joining me in my class for Rizal English. Yeah. So, whenever you see na nag invite naka-grade pa lang tayo, um, we will now wait for Ms. Wang to accept. So, um, Ms. Wang, I think uh, it's best to share then yung screen natin. For, All right. For them to so, see. Okay. Ms. Weng, I'm gonna ask you to share yeah. your screen para mapakita natin sa mga audience natin on how you will yes. accept an invitation from your fellow teacher na English teacher. Example lang naman yun. 
So, ito yung aking screen. Pakita ko lang. So, yan. Yan. So, ito na ako as a math teacher. So, matik na siya. Uh, kapag in-open mo, matik na, ano ka na, kakolaborate ka na. Yung teacher Mamu, na yun. May natanggap ka bang have email? May natanggap ka bang uh, email? May natanggap ko ng email. Okay, I'll check my email. Yeah, meron ako natanggap na email. So, it says that English teacher invitation to co-teach. So, ito yung email niya. So, i-open ko siya. So, yan. So, my co-teacher, teacher in math, which is Miss Dorothy, asked me to join. So, I click ko yan. Yan. Alright. So, ganun lang po kadali, uh, mga teachers so, na... Um, mag-join or mag-add ng fellow teachers. So, imagine ninyo kung meron yeah. kayong class na grade 6 na merong 40 students. Instead na magkaroon kayo ng separate na Google Classroom, um, why not all teachers, all subject teachers ng grade 6 um, class na yon, ay i-join nyo na lang sa Google Classroom and all of your um, assignments will be there. Okay? Yes. Okay. okay so, collaborated na kami. Or, Alright, okay. so, ayan. Makikita na natin sa screen natin ngayon that Miss Wang, our math teacher, is currently um, joining us na. May may iba naman nagtatanong, paano kung gusto ko magpa-observe, di ba? Or gustong maki, uh, makita ng supervisors, ng heads, yung yung ating klase. Are we meeting our our competencies, yung mga ganyang katanungan? So with this one, I would like to ask the help of Miss Wang. Miss Wang, can we? Yes, I'll show my screen again. Okay. So on my screen. So I'm here. Nandito na ako sa people. So sa teacher, mag-add ako ng supervisor para pag nag-lesson ako, makikita niya yung flow ng aking lesson. So I'll add. For this example, I'll add the supervisor at deped.gov. Siyempre, taga deped siya. So, I'll use deped.gov.ph. Then, yan. Then, invite. So, as you can see on my screen, meron na siyang supervisor. So, invited pa lang siya. So, once I open niya yan, to join us, to so observe the flow ng lesson ng teacher, so, matik yan. Mag- Ba-block na yung shape niya. So, that is uh, one way to add the supervisor. So, I suggest supervisor na lang din yung pangalan. Kasi most of this nakalagay teacher. So, I suggest supervisor na lang yung pangalan. Okay po? Add mo na rin si principal, ma'am. Ma'am Weng, add mo na rin. Add mo na rin si principal. Okay, I'll add the principal. So, para tandem silang dalawa. Principal at deped.gov.ph Then, ate. Then click and buy it. So, kumpleto na. Pwede nang mabuo ang, ang project-based learning. Meron na siyang dalawang teacher, English, ng, uh, English teacher, math teacher, the principal, and the supervisor. Okay? Great. So, ayan po. Okay? Okay. So, hindi lang po yan yung mga taong pwede nyo pong idagdag dun sa teacher's um, section. Kung gusto nyo pong idagdag yung master teacher na nag-observe po sa inyo, go ahead. Yung head teacher po ninyo, go ahead. So, um, Google Classroom allows you to collaborate among um, stakeholders of your class. Okay? Yes. So, let me go uh, bring back the screen of Dorothy. All right. So we have added our supervisors, our principals, and other um, key uh, key factors or key person natin for creating our classes. Punta naman tayo ngayon kay Stream. Okay? Kay Stream, like we said, it is just like a Facebook page or Facebook live timeline that the students are very much familiar with. So meron tayo dito, ito yung pinaka-banner natin. Yan, nakikita natin. And then our class code, like I said, nandito yan naka-indicate. And then, pwede rin nating i-personalize yung ating subject. For example, makikita natin dito sa, sa, sa screen natin. I'll just maximize that one. Uh, meron tayo ditong select team. 
or upload photo dito tayo sa select team kasi um Google Classroom already created something for us so meron na tayong by subject diyan meron tayong English and History we have Math and Sciences Arts Sports and others ayan so syempre dahil ang subject natin ay English let us select on the English um subject and then click tayo na picture okay for example I wanted to have this one. Ayan. So, pinili ko lamang po ito and then select class theme tayo. So, napalitan na po yung ating banner. Ang ganda. Okay, pwede. Ma'am Dorothy, pwede ba yung ibang picture? Halimbawa, meron kang ginawa. Pwede po yan. Doon po tayo sa upload photo. Okay, papipiliin lang tayo ng size, i-resize -re -re lang natin. Okay? To use the stream, normally, ginagawa natin dito um, as a preliminary, we we'll welcome lang natin yung students natin. So, we will have right here, welcome, grade 6, result, to your English class for uh, school year 2020. 2021. So, yun yung gusto ko lang i-message sa kanila. Ngayon, ako bilang teacher, syempre, hindi lang naman isa yung klase ko, di ba? So, if ever na nakapag-create na ako ng klase ko, for example, for grade 6 Rizal, grade 6 Rizal for sciences, ayan. So, andito yan, mapipili natin. Para, syempre, ikaw bilang teacher, anim yung klase mo, halimbawa. So, hindi mo na kailangan mag-announce or i-copy-paste you message mo sa isang subject. All you have to, uh, sa isang klase. All you have to do is, click on this one, para lahat ng klase mo, um, na-highlight na natin. And isa lang yung announcement natin. So, aside from your message, meron din tayo ditong add option. Pwede kang magdagdag ng anything from your Google Drive, any link, any file, or halimbawa, YouTube video. Kumuha ka ng YouTube video for your a greeting for your class. Yeah, nandyan po yan. You could just simply um, added, add that one and then right away makikita siya dito. Okay? And then, my option din pa ako, when, when do I want this announcement to be posted? Nandito sa gilid, we have your cancel, then your post option, then may arrow down tayo dyan. If you would click on the arrow down, you would see there, ipopost ko na ba siya? Is schedule ko ba siya or is save ko yun yun draft natin. For now, what I wanted to do is to click on post. So kapag pinost ko siya, right away my students in my class um, will receive this one. Uh, I've done Google Classroom before. Nakakatanggap sila ng notification. So alam nila, uy, may bagong announcement sa Google Classroom. So they will be seeing that one. So... Like, uh, sabi nga natin, yung Facebook feed natin, si teacher nag-post, pwede nga yung mag-comment yung klase natin. Can we have our students to please comment on our um, post right now? Alright, so um, pakita natin yung um, comment or yung way para si student um, letter A, si student A ay makapag-comment. So add ko yung... Um, screen ni Ma'am Rox. Ma'am Rox, bago, mo, bago ka mag-comment, can you please show our audience na may natanggap ng email na um, nag-post yung teacher mo sa stream? Yes, JD. So, ito yung email. Ayan, meron siyang new announcement na new email, tapos new announcement, welcome grade 6 result to your English something. So, again, if you open that one, babalik ka dun sa Google Classroom nyo. And then, makikita mo na yung post ng teacher sa stream. Tapos, I'll, I'll, tapos magre-respond na ako doon. So, welcome grade 6 result to your English class for 2020-2021. Pwede akong mag-reply doon sa teacher namin. So, pwede kong lagyan ng hello, ma'am. Good day. Ayan. Tapos, click lang. Ayan, pero nang meron akong reply dun sa announcement ng teacher. That's it. All right.
So, ako naman. So, as a student, so again, ako po si student letter B. May natanggap po ako na email sa akin Gmail at mayroong announcement si English teacher. So, imagine na kung ang account ko as a student ay nakalogin sa aking cellphone, every time na may announcement ang aking teacher, mananotify ako. Um, as long as, of course, naka-on yung notification ng aking Gmail application. Okay? So, punta ako ngayon sa aking stream at refresh ko lang. Alright? So, grade 6... Ayan, nag-post ang aking English teacher, si Ma'am Dorothy. And for example, teachers, hindi naman natin may iwasan na meron tayong mga estudyante hindi natin kontrolado yung kanyang mga sinasabi o kanilang mga sinasabi. For example, ako, si John um, Student, nag-comment lang ako ng kung ano-ano. Okay? Meron bang kayang gawin or pwedeng gawin ang aking teacher to continue? Ayan, so yan ang aking comment. It's a random letter. So kinomment ko siya. So, anong pwedeng gawin sa akin ng aking teacher? Sige, ibalik natin kay Ma'am Dorothy. Ayan. So, this is actually the actual scenario natin. No? Um, bawat isa yata ang teacher naka-experience na ng ganyan. Um, unruly in the classroom, probably unruly then uh, virtually in the classroom. For our classroom management, so nakikita natin, Si Ma'am Rox nag-comment, si, si John nag-comment. But si John, parang hindi natin gusto yung kinoment niya. I could actually reply to John first. So I'll click on this one. John. Um, please avoid having this kind of reply to our class. So, pwede ko siyang, siyempre, i-reprimand muna natin. And then, at the same time, dahil um, hindi ko gustong makita at i-tolerate pa yung ganitong klase, I could just simply click on the three dots dito sa, sa gilid natin. Yan, papakita lang natin. May three dots tayo dyan. When I click this one, I could actually choose to delete and mute John as a student. So, kapag sinabi natin, i-mute ko si John, uh, makaka-reply pa rin naman siya. Pero, ayan. So, ito na yung option natin. When I click on mute John, um, John can still submit work. Other students won't see it. Can't reply to classmates' work. Can't comment on post. So, yan yung mga options natin. And then, isabay na rin natin. Also, delete this comment. So, once I click on this one, minute ko si John. Automatic part pa rin si John ng klase ko, but he won't be able to comment na. Okay, puntahan natin siya sa people. Papakita ko lang sa inyo kung ano nangyari kay John. So, with John's icon right now, nakikita natin, may mute button na siya sa gilid ng pangalan niya. Eh, ma'am, paano kung nag-promise na si John? Ma'am, hindi na ako uulit. First time ko lang naman po yun. What we could do is click on John's name. Ay, balik, balik natin. Sorry. Ayan. All we could do is unmute John. Click lang natin si John. Um, tignan Action. natin. Ayan. Asa na yun, Sir Jane? Um, Click John and then click Actions. Ah, okay. Sorry, sorry. Ayan. So, kinlik natin si John. Then, click on Actions. And then, pwede na natin siya ngayong i-unmute. So, kapag in-unmute natin si John, uh, he could now reply to your classmates' work and comment on the posts na ngayon. So, ayan na. Okay? So, si John, eh, bumalik na sa, sa ating klase. He could now comment and join the classroom activities again. Okay, meron pa ba right. questions? So basically, teachers, ganun po um, ang, ang stream at yun po yung mga pwede ninyong uh, gawin sa inyong mga interaction with your um, students. Okay, sige po.
Um, okay, marami so, po tayong mga natatanggap na questions sa ating comment section. Actually, in a split of a second, um, around three to five questions ang pumapasok. For the benefit of this um, demonstration, we will answer your questions um, later after we have demonstrated all um, Google Classroom um, tips and techniques. Ano? So we shall now proceed with um, the most vital feature of Google Classroom, which is the classwork. Okay. All right. So, tuloy na po natin. So, for our classwork, ito ngayon yung pinaka-core ng ating Google Classroom. In our classwork, we have na, we can now assign our homework, our quizzes. So, makikita natin dito, we have the create button. Just simply click on the create button and then lalabas na dyan. Assignment. Quiz assignment, this one is very good. Uh, mamiya, i-discuss natin yan. A teacher could actually pose a question, parang poll. Um, would you like to have our class uh, para tayong mag-field trip sa nating gusto? Or do you want to make an advocacy project? Yung mga ganyan. A teacher could also pose a material. Ang materials natin, for example, uh, magpo-post ka ng video na ginawa mo for a certain lecture, Para habang weekend, panonoorin na nila yung lecture. Para pagbalik nila sa klase, hands-on activity na tayo agad. Drills na tayo agad. So, yun yung purpose ng materials natin. And then, of course, we have the reuse post. The reuse post, magagamit mo to, for example, you've been using Google Classroom for two years or one year na. Last year, di ba? Nagamit natin. Since we are having the same curriculum, you could just simply reuse your post from your previous classes, gamitin mo lang yung post na yon to your current classes. So, minsan ka na lang gagawa, matutulungan, ah, magaan na para sa buhay ni teacher yung, yung pag-manage ng klase natin. But for now, I would like to show you on how to create or assign an assignment. So, since I am an English teacher, I would just click on uh, sabi nating preliminaries or getting to know you na lang yun. So, getting to know you. And then, instructions. Um, dito ka na magbibigay na please answer in, uh, please answer in complete sentences. Uh, to the following questions. Yan. And then, makikita natin dito, meron tayong add. Option. Kaya add option, pwede tayong mag-add ng file natin from Google Drive. Link, file, or YouTube video. On the other side naman, meron tayong button dito na nakalagay e create. Okay? For create naman, sabi nga natin, um, Google Classroom is integrated seamlessly with other um, G Suites natin. We have Google Docs, Slides, Sheets, Drawings, and Forms. Okay? Since I am an English teacher, I would like to create an essay for my class. So, docs, I'll just click on that one. Automatically, mag open sa next page ko or sa next tab ko yung Google Docs natin. Ito yung advantage ng having our Google Classroom and G Suite. You don't need to open a lot of applications to create an app, uh, to create an activity or a homework. So, all you have to do is just click on Docs and then, lagay ko rito, um, assignment number one. Tapos, ang title ko is Getting to Know You. Okay? So, yan yung assignment ko. Um, number one, tell me about yourself. Uh, tell me about yourself and then what new skill have you learned this summer? So, dalawa lang yung tanong ko. And then, I will just click on this one. Napansin nyo, when I click that one, kung ano yung header ko dito, when I click on the title, automatically, it also copies the, the topic or the title itself. Okay, so we have now this one. 
nakikita rin natin dito, save all changes. If I would keep on typing right here, nakikita natin nakalagay lang dito is saving. Yan. But when I deleted, for example, I'll stop on this one. Automatic after saving, nakalagay all changes saved in Drive. So, naka-auto-save tayo with our Google Docs. So, since we are finished with this one, yan. Uh, click lang natin. Ating Google Classroom. And then I could now choose, refresh na lang natin later, whether my students, andito na po tayo sa baba, can view the file. Students can edit the file. So when we say, and then make a copy for each student. When we click on students can view the file, yung in-upload natin na document kanina, they can see it and then they can answer it on their own documents or magre-reply lang sila sa atin. So para siyang you handed them a book, and then that's it. They, mababasa lang nila. The next option is students can edit the file. It's like you gave them a worksheet. Tapos yung iisang worksheet na yon sasagutan ng lahat ng studyante niyo. So kung i-edit nung unang student, kapag binuksan ng pangalawang student, magko-collaborate sila sa iisang document lang. And then the third option, ito yung favorite ng mga teachers. Um, para kang nagpa-photocopy ng worksheet mo, Tapos, bawat isang sujante may personal at sarili silang copy ng work na yun. Okay? So, let us just see on this one. Naklik na natin yan. And then, close na. Ay, ito ba kayong close? Um, add na lang natin. Na-close ko siya. Once that I have added that one, ayan, nandito na siya kay Google Drive natin. Sa recent, or na kay Drive, nandiyan na siya. Teachers, ako nga pala, no? Um, Sir JD, can you help us in discussing kung paano nangyayari dito with our drives, yung ginagawa natin? Um, siguro later na lang, um, after Ask all the that. sessions. Alright. Uh, so we discuss natin yung integration ni Google Classroom with Google Meet, um, and Google um, Calendar and Google Drive. Alright. So let us say, for example, nag-assign na ako nito, and then click ko make a copy for each student, like we saw here. And then now, sabi rito kay Grade Six Rizal, kanino ko pagusto ng i-assign yung homework na to for now sa English lang na subject ko. So I click on that one. Pwede yung multiple subjects, ayan, ganyan din. Bawa, anim yung klase ko. And then, dito, meron na tayong option to choose whether ilan yung i-grade natin sa gawa ng sudyante natin. Um, then, we also have the due date. Kailan ba natin gustong, hanggang kailan tayo pwedeng tumanggap ng homework ng sudyante? Let us say, for example, um, this coming Friday, Pwede rin yung option mo hanggang kailan ng Friday. Mga sudyante, ganyan eh. Kailan po yung deadline? Pwede po hating gabi, ganyan. So, we have 11.59 tomorrow. Kay topic, pwede kang mag-create, for example, for chapters. Kung ano yung, ano yung mga gagawin natin. So, um, lagay lang natin dito ang bawa. Week 1, for preliminaries, ganyan. For getting to know you. So, ito yung topic natin na pwedeng learning objectives para nakikita natin yan. Okay? And then we have the rubric. This is something new and exciting for us, okay, teachers natin. We could actually choose whether create a rubric, reuse a rubric if you have already created one before, and then import from sheets. So, for now, since we are just starting, let us try creating a rubric. And then nakikita natin dito, meron tayong use scoring. And then criterion title. Since I am an English teacher, pwede ko ilagay content. So, sa content ko, ano nga ba yung gagradean ko? For example, I give my class um, 50 points kapag complete yung content niya. Lagay natin di, uh, and then kapag sabihin natin na outstanding or complete complete content
And then, pwede tayo magdagdag. Minsan lima, minsan tatlo. Okay, sabihin natin 30. Um, sabihin natin na... Um, okay, ganun lang. Sample lang naman. And then, for this one, lagyan natin ang 10 points needs improvement. Fair. So, yung rubrics natin ngayon, parang yung sa klase din natin, we could give them the score. Ah, 50 points pala makukuha kay teacher kapag complete yung contents ko. Kapag okay lang, 30. Kapag needs improvement, 10 points. Yung ibibigay sa akin ni teacher. Then, pwede tayo mag-add criteria dito. For add criteria, let us say, for example, eto very much um, ginagamit ko to sa klase yung punctuality. For example, bibigyan kita ulit ng 50 points kapag submitted ahead of time. So, hindi pa deadline. Nag-submit siya ngayon. Bukas pa yung deadline. I'll give you 30 points kung um, on the day. And then, magbibigay ako sa iyo ng 10 points kapag after the deadline na. So, makiteacher naman yung kaya record pa niya or hindi na yung mga late submissions. So, since I'm done now with this one, ayan, kita lang natin yung screen natin. And then, we will just click on save. Dahil I have two criterias right now, it is now a total of 100 points. 50 yung sa unang criterion, 50 again on another. So, yung points natin dito is 100. Okay? Paano kung ako ay English teacher at ayoko naman na nagpa-plagiarize yung aking mga studyante, di ba? Uh, instead, uh, kung familiar kayo with Turnitin, meron na ngayong feature ngayon si Google Classroom na you just have to click on the originality report. Pag in -okay natin yan, and then continue natin. Although meron tayong limitation na three assignments per class lang yung kayang i-run, yung originality report. So, i-click lang natin yan. And we're ready to go. So, again, to wrap up, we're creating an assignment. Naglagay ako ng title. Nag uh, nilagyan ko lang ng instruction. I create a Google Doc and then attach it here. I make sure that my students, each of my students has a copy of their work. And then, pumili ako kung kani-kaninong klase ko siya ilalagay. Um, ilang points yung grade nila for that certain assignment. Kailan ng due date? And then, ano yung topic or title? And then, nag-assign tayo ng due dates. And then, we check on the originality. Now, let us now try to assign this one. And ano kaya ang itsura ng aking assignment sa view naman ng aking klase. So once I click on the assign, um, mapupunta na siya ngayon sa manonotify na yung mga sudyante ko. At the same time, makikita rin to sa ating stream. So all the assignments or announcements are posted on. Okay? So naka-stream, nandiyan na meron tayong icon for assignment. Sa classroom, na, sa classwork naman natin, Nandiyan yung topics natin. So, for week 1, lahat ng topic ko for week 1 makikita ngayon dito sa area na to. Okay? So, ano kaya itsura ng homework na to sa pananaw or sa mata ng mga sudyante natin? Sir JD? Alright. Alright. So, nakita po natin mga teachers, no? Kung gaano kadali lang ang paggawa ng assignment in Google Classroom. And... Um, don't worry, kasi imagine nyo, yung assignment na gagawin nyo today, alright, this is school year, probably will be the same assignment then next school year. Siguro may mga minor refinements or minor improvement lang. But um, ang, ang kagandahan with Google Classroom is that you can, um, you can uh, reuse the assignment para magamit siya in let's say in the um in the different class or um uh, next school year so the effort syempre sa umpisa lang just like paggawa niyo ng manila paper or um um cartulina um isang beses niyo lang siya gagawin and then kung iingatan niyo siya pwede niyo siyang magamit next school year but um in uh, digital assignment here in Google Classroom it's very much uh, useful and sustainable kasi hindi siya napupunit or hindi siya nawawala okay it's always there 
Okay? So now, we will demonstrate. So, of course, may ginawang assignment si Ma'am Dorothy na essay type. Okay? Meron dalawang sadyante, si Rox at, at saka si John. So, pakita natin. Si Ma'am Rox, magsasagot siya ng maayos dun sa assignment na binigay ni Ma'am Dorothy. And then ako, later on, si John, the student, um, hindi ko masyadong aayusin yung gawa ko. So tingnan natin, ano yung pwedeng mangyari or pwedeng gawin ni teacher sa dalawang klaseng estudyante. Okay? So I'm gonna share my screen, uh, I'm gonna share the screen of Ma'am Rox. O nung Rox student. Ma'am Rox, you have to unmute. Yes. Kita na ba yung screen ko? Yes. Ayan. So again, ito po yung nakikita ng student kap kapag nasa Google Classroom po siya. So from the stream, um, if I want to check kung merong assignments na binigay yung teacher sa amin, I'll just go to the classwork na tab. And then yan. Yan yung makikita yung... Makikita na yung assignment na binigay ng teacher. So, yung binigay ni Ma'am Dorothy kanina na assignment for week one ng Getting to Know You. At saka makikita din yung kung kailan siya, kailan yung due date niya. So, due tomorrow, 11.59 p.m. So, all I have to do para magawa ko yung assignment is to click yung post. And then, yan, yan yung lalabas. So, merong instruction na please answer in complete sentences to the following questions. Tapos, na, uh, nandito makikita yung rubric din. At saka, ilan yung ibibigay na points ng teacher for the assignment. So, all I have to do next is to click the Google Doc na assign sa akin. So, malalaman ko naman if assign sa akin, then merong name na lalabas. So, Rock Student Assignment. All I have to do is to click that one. Pag i-click ko na siya, lalabas na yung Google Doc na ginawa ni Ma'am Dorothy. Ayan, makikita ko na rin yung ginawa niyang, ibinigay niyang two questions. So, number one is tell me about yourself. And then number two is what new skill have you learned this summer? So, all I have to do is to answer that one, no? So, tell me about yourself. So, I can put, I am um, Roxanne Quentes. I'm 12 years old. Something like that. 12 years old. Uh, I like to read books. Yan. Pwede, depende sa instruction ni teacher kung ilan yung sentences, ilan yung paragraphs. So, ganon. For number two, what new skill have you learned this summer? So, I can, I learned how to paint. I also learned how to stitch. stitch. Yeah. Very simple lang. Now, once na ang student, tapos na siyang gumawa nung assignment niya, ito yung next step para maibigay balik ulit, maibigay niya balik dun sa teacher yung assignment na na niya, na sinagutan na niya. So, all, it, all it the student would do is to click yung turning button dito sa upper right part ng Google Doc. So, if I click that one, turn in, ayan, babalik po siya doon sa Google Classroom. Ayan. So, merong lalabas na ha, talk with your teacher kung gusto mong makipag-usap ng teacher, tsaka click mo lang yung turn in button and then just confirm. Yan, turn in your work and then click turn in. Ayan. So, tapos ko na siyang maibalik dun sa teacher. Malalaman ko naman kasi dito sa part na ito, upper right part ng Google Classroom ko is malalagay naman dyan, turned in. That means, yung assignment na ginawa ko, na sinagutan ko, is naisubmit na doon sa teacher. So, that's it. Alright. So, um, nakita niyo po mga teachers kung gaano kadali lang para sa mga student natin yung pagsagot no, ng, um, uh, I mean, paggawa ng assignment nila sa Google Classroom. Okay. But right now, let me share my screen. At gusto kong ipakita sa inyo, ano naman ang perspective, for example, kung si student ay hindi siya, um, hindi niya ayusin yung assignment niya. Okay. 
So for example, ayan, nakita ko po um, yung assignment sa akin ni Teacher Dorothy, Getting to Know You. Alright, so I will click here sa upper right corner ko po yung aking assignment. Ang nakalagay naman po dyan, your work. Okay. And then bubuksan ko po yung um, aking um, assignment. Okay. So for example, no, for example lang naman po mga teachers, this is na nakalagay po dito, tell me about yourself. Pero for example, may pinapadefine sa akin yung teacher. Okay. So for example, Lagay natin is economics. Example lang naman. Okay. Tapos, i-copy-paste ko or buksan ko to. And then, i-copy-paste ko yung definition. Example lang naman. Okay. And then, i-paste ko dito. Alright. Okay. Tapos, may, may second question. Okay. So, yung... Di ba, madalas ay magpa-assignment, no? What's, what's the history of this one or that, or that? Okay, so copy ko lang to. Ayan. Copy ko lang. And then, paste ko lang. Okay. So, for example, yun yung assignment ko, lahat copy-paste. Okay? So, ito yung input na siya. Alright. May turn in siya. At for example, hindi alam ni student na merong feature. Okay, sige, i-turn in ko muna. Ayan. Hindi alam ni student na merong feature pala na originality report. Tignan natin yung gawa o yung gagawin ni Ma'am Dorothy mamaya para i-check yung originality ng aking gawa. Okay? So nakita ninyo ngayon, mga teachers, yung dalawang klase ng paggawa ng assignment. Yung isa, maayos na paggawa, okay, kinapi um ginawa ni Ma'am Rox, no? Um through, through her own words yung kanyang assignment at tapos ako as John student, ang ginawa ko ay kinapi paste ko lang, okay, yung gawa ko. Okay? So balik natin sa screen ng uh, teacher. Alright, so balik na tayo sa screen ni teacher, no? Um, in our stream, makikita natin, ito yung homework announcement natin kanina. I'll just click on this one. And then, um, dito na monitor natin, na monitor ni teacher kung ilang student na nag-turn in at ilan pa yung hindi. Okay, so for now, lahat ng studyante ko nag-turn in na may notification dito sa ibaba under their names, nakalagay turned in na. Okay, so let us say, I'll check first yung gawa ni, ni Ms. Rox. Siya yung muna nag-submit sa atin kanina. Okay. For me to check on her work, close na lang natin yan. Okay. So, okay naman yung gawa ni Ms. Rox. So, I am Roxanne. I'm 12 years old. And then, I learned how. Since nakita ko yung gawa niya, I'll try grading her work na. Right away. Okay. So, Sa work niya, sabihin natin 50 points from using a complete sentence and then correct punctuations as well. She created her work on ta uh, ahead of time. Bukas pa yung deadline pero nagsubmit na siya today. And then pwede ako mag-comment sa kanya mismo. Okay, so great work. And then I'll click on post. So makikita na, mag-reflect na sa gawa ni student yung comment ko, and the grade as well. Dito ako nag-click ng rubric. Para makita, ng, para makita ng student, you have to click the return sa upper right corner para makita ni Rox's student na ah, nag-grade na yung okay. kanyang. Okay, so dito na ako mismo nag-grade, na, nag-click ako ng rubrics ko, automatic nag-reflect na yung grade nila dito sa atin. And then for my student to see their work, I'll just simply click on the return button and then I'll click on return. Makikita ni Rox na siya ay nakakuha ng 100, over 100 in her homework for today. Okay? In, and then uh, si Rox, sino naman ang kasunod? Okay, si John. Instead of going out from this um, window, Makikita natin may arrow lang tayo dito sa gilid. Ayan. So, I could just simply click on the back button to check on another student's work. 
Haba, medyo mahaba ang gawa ni JD. Okay? Magaling kaya yung gawa ni JD kasi mas mahaba siya. But we will see here, meron nakalagay dito, flag passage. So if I would click on this one, lalabas ngayon, mag-open to another tab, yung originality report. So makikita na dito na kung saan kinuha ni JD yung kanyang mga sagot. So ayan, ang galing siya sa study.com and then ito yung counts nila. So this could actually eliminate the the student uh, um, plagiarizing work from others or not citing them on their work. So nandyan po yan. Okay, ah, so balik tayo kay John. Ayan. So since ganun yung ginawa ni John, I don't think I needed to grade him. Okay. So pwede ko siyang i-private message. Um, this is not our homework. And I won't sabi natin, I won't grade this until you change it. Okay, and then I'll click on post. And then, actually, pwede ko rin i-highlight yung content na gusto kong commentan. I'll just click on this one. Magko-comment ako. And then, ayan. Ayos na lang natin yun. Later na lang yun. Okay, so pwede ako mag- uh, Mag, pwede ako mag-comment sa kanya, pwede ako mag-announce or anything. But for now, um, yun muna tayo dito. Uh, balik muna tayo doon. Let's just go back. Ayan. Okay. So, since I have already checked this one, ire-return ko na lang muna kay JD yung gawa niya. Okay, balik tayo dito sa checking natin. Sa so, grading natin. Okay, since hindi ko pa siya gig- Okay, done. I'll just return this one kay JD. No grade na kalagay. Magpa-prompt ngayon sa aking mga sudyante yung aking mga reply. Okay, so this is the view from the teacher's perspective. Ano kaya ang itsura naman ng ganitong activity in a student's perspective? So ngayon nakalagay right. dito, meron akong graded, meron akong assigned. Okay, so thank you for grading. Imagine niyo teachers, if nasa, um, let's say, nasa travel kayo, nasa bus pa uwi, or nasa jeep pa uwi, if you are using um, Google Classroom in your mobile, by the way, later on, i-discuss ko po sa inyo that you can use Google Classroom in your mobile. But um, for this particular activity na lagi natin ginagawa as teachers, yung pag-check ng assignment, pwedeng pwede po ninyong gawin yan in a, in a, in a in an efficient manner, no? So, pakita ko lang yung screen ni, uh, ni Rox, student, dahil gusto kong makita ninyo na na-checkan at nakita ni Ma'am Rox, or ni, ni Rox, no? Ni Rox, student, yung kanyang grade na 100. Yung screen ko na, JD? Yes. Okay. So, again, balik tayo dun sa classwork. Tapos yung week 1 natin na assignment, as you can see, kung makikita nyo yung screen ko, at this part, meron kayong mababasa na graded. So that means the teacher already graded my work. Paano mo makikita yung details ng grade na binigay ng teacher? So again, view mo lang yung assignment, tapos lalabas na siya. So ayan, makikita mo dyan na yung content is 50, yung binigay ng teacher tsaka yung punctuality is 50. Then makikita mo rin dun yung total na points mo na 100%. Sa baba naman, makikita mo rin yung private comment na binigay ng teacher na halimbawa, great work. So pwede ka rin mag-reply dyan. Thank you, teacher. Yan yan. So, yun yung grading ng assignment na binigay ng teacher sa perspective ng student in terms of Google Classroom. That's it. All right. So ako naman, so yung assignment ni um, John, okay, refresh ko lang. All right. So um 
nakita ko na hindi pa uh, binabalik o hindi pa chinechikan sa ng, ni Teacher Dorothy yung aking assignment. At may nabasa ako na, this is not our homework and I won't grade this until you change it. Okay? So, ang pwede kong gawin, as a student, I can go ahead and go back to my um, to my assignment. And ayusin ko yung sagot o gawa ko sa assignment na binigay sa akin ng teacher. So, tell me about yourself. Hindi ko na po masyadong i-elaborate. I'm JD. And um, I uh, I learned how to stream online, All right? There. So, kung yan na po yung aking assignment, I'll just turn it in. By the way, turn in po ang term sa uh, US for submitting assignment. So, dito sa Philippines, submit ang word. Ayan. And then, I will click turn in. Okay. So, ayun. Um, Aantayin ko na lang na tsekan ng aking, uh, ni Teacher Dorothy, yung aking assignment. So basically, teachers, um, ganun po yung way how to um, um, create an assignment, an essay type of assignment um, sa, sa Google Classroom. At paano tsekan, paano gawin ng mga sudyante yung um, assignment nila. Okay? Ayan. So we are um, um, seeing a lot of questions, compliments, and um, uh, suggestions sa ating comment. And um, thank you for your active participation. So right now, um, we will have another kind of assignment. And this is a very exciting assignment po para po sa mga estudyante. No? At para rin sa mga teachers. Kasi for example po, um, I am sure na not all not all the time we have the capacity or time to check our assign uh, to check the assignment of our students so paano natin o paano tayo gagawa ng assignment kung saan yung yung assignment na ibibigay natin sa kanila ay may automatic na checking no auto check yung assignment tapos i-import niyo na lang yung score nila kapag na-checkan na yung assignment Okay, so ang next po na mag-demonstrate sa atin ngayon ay si Ma'am Weng. Okay, siya po si math teacher at gagawa po siya ng isang assignment with auto-check po na feature. Okay, Ma'am Weng? Okay. So, okay, pupunta ako sa stream. As you can see, this is my uh, student side. Gago kung kanina nakagawa ng assignment with the use of Google Class, uh, Google Docs. No naman, I'll do the assignment. So, got it. So, dito lang po tayo pupunta sa classwork. Then, magkakreate ako ng quiz assignment. Kung kanina, assignment. Now, I'm going to uh, do the assignment in terms of quiz. Okay, so paano gagawin siya? So, click here. Tapos, hindi tayo mawawala. Punta lang classwork o ano yung mga classwork na ginagawa ni teacher. Lahat yan ang dyan. Questions, material, reuse, reuse topic. So, meron siya. Then, so, sabi nga kanina na JD, you can uh, reuse any topic that you have before. Then, reuse it na lang. Then, modify or edit. But, for this example, I want to uh, do the quiz assignment. Okay. So, ito po yung uh, view ng assignment. So, lalagyan ko dyan, title, quiz, uh, halimbawa lang, for this example, quiz and mathematics. Okay? So, the instruction is, uh, let's say the instruction is to, uh, choose the best answer na lang. So, para best, di ba? Okay, and so on for this example. Okay, then this one, meron siyang uh, additional na topic. Let's say if you, if you want to do the quiz, tapos piling mo yung bata, they are not prepared, you can add additional materials. Like for example, in this ad, kung meron kayo makikitang button na parang merong uh, paper clip, just click here. Now, Let's say, kung gusto mo, uh, mag add ka ng additional reference for the student to understand more regarding sa quiz mo, click the Google Drive. Okay. So, for example, uh, this is the Google Drive. Halimbawa, meron kang uh, kanina yung ginawa nilang template. Halimbawa lang ito. For this example lang. 
then click mo. So, matik mag a dyan. So, that is the example how you create additional refer uh, uh, reference for the, uh, from your Google Drive. What if, Kung meron ka namang link to direct your student to go to the link na ibibigay mo. Siyempre, we need to protect our learner na, na dapat uh, teacher ka, ikaw na yung magbibigay ng link. Okay? For additional refer uh, reference. So, click mo lang yung link. Then, I have here prepared a Wikipedia. For example, my topic is all about the operator. Then, click ko lang yan dyan. Uh, uh, click ko lang yan. Then, I paste the link. Okay, then add link. Okay, so your student direct na yung link na binigay mo. Kasi we need to protect the students. Hindi yung, oh sige class, you can do re research. So uh, for me as a teacher, dapat ikaw na mismo as a teacher nagde-direct ng mga link na additional reference para si bata ay hindi na pupunta sa kung ano-ano pang mga link. Okay, then uh, let's say, halimbawa, meron kang additional reference din na medyo hindi pa talaga naiintindihan ng bata. You can click the YouTube. Now, in YouTube, uh, pwede mong uh, i-type o pwede dalawa. You can search from the YouTube or you can search from the URL. So, for now, let's say, my topic is all about the operators. Halimbawa lang, uh, for this example, operators, then click ko yan. Then, I'll teach you how to get uh, a YouTube. Okay, halimbawa ito. Uh, operators in mathematics. Dapat ganun. Uh, mathematics. Okay? Then, click ko yan. So, yan. So, halimbawa, uh, halimbawa ito. Okay? Sa kanaan. Click ko yan. Okay. Then, Add ko siya. Okay? Now, for example, okay, close ko muna to. For example, meron akong, uh, so mag add ako ng uh, video again. Tapos meron siyang URL. Okay? So for example, meron akong prepared na URL na inopen ko na sa YouTube na review ko na. Okay? So halimbawa, this is the URL. Kapag kukuha po tayo ng mga YouTube bit, dapat po uh, ikiklik natin yung filter. Okay? Halimbawa, ito yung mga YouTube bid natin. For, uh, for example, math. Okay? Click natin yung math operation. Okay? Click natin to. Now, kasi may mga disclaimer din na tinatawag, ba? So, halimbawa, ito. Math operation. Then, uh, ayan. Tapos, yes, wait. Okay, so pag-clinic natin yan, kung kanina, wait ko lang, balik ko lang, ayun, wait ko lang. So ito, yung naka-filter siya, okay. Tapos kung gusto natin mag-insert ng video, wag naman yung sobrang mahabang video. Click lang natin yung mga 4 minutes video, okay. So yan yung mga ibibigay na 4 minutes video. Then additional, uh, dapat po pupunta tayo ng Creative Commons, Okay, bakit po siya Creative Commons? We do this para wala tayong issue ng plagiarism. Okay, so this one is standard na ginagamit uh, na kung sino man nagbigay ng author, ginagamit siya for the education purposes or reuse lang ng additional video. So pag linik natin yan, so ayan yung mga pwede natin gamitin na paulit-ulit na mga video sa, basa, sa bata, sa student. So there's no issue in plagiarism. Okay, so yan po. Then, click na lang ang link. Then, back sa classroom. Then, add. Ayan. So, add the bid. Ayan. Okay, wait. URL, then yan. So, click search. Kailangan click mo muna yung video na napili mo, ma'am. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Sorry, sorry. Video. Okay, yan. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Ayan, click. Then... Ayan. Okay. Please. Close ka na siya. May ingay siya. So, ayan. Ayan. So, pasensya na. Ayan. Okay. So, sometimes with... Ayan. Okay. So, yun. Tulitin natin ulit. Not operate. Operators. Click. 
So, click yan. Then, add. Okay? So, yan ay mga video. Yung Khan Academy. Khan Academy is okay siya. Okay? So, ganun lang yung process, no? Sa video. Okay? So, now, yan yung mga additional. Siguro naman yung mga bata matututo na dyan. Ang dami ng binigay ni teacher. So, sa paggawa ng quiz, eto na tayo. Okay? So, pwede na natin i-close yan kung ayaw natin. Okay? So, sa paggawa ng quiz... Meron siyang import grade. So, dapat huwag yan naka-off. Naka-on siya. Para matik, uh, pag-check natin ng paper, mapupunta na sa bata yung mga score. Okay? Mag-grade na. Then, click natin yung blank quiz. So, as you can see, ito yung Google Form. So, lalagyan natin siya ng uh, math quiz. Okay? So, dito, click lang natin. at quiz. Okay. So, dito, marami siyang mga choices. So, syempre, lahat ng gusto ni teacher, merong short, paragraph. So, anything will do kung ano gusto niyong uh, kind ng style ng text. So, for now, I'll, I'll choose the multiple choice. Okay. So, for example, uh, my quiz is all about math. I'm the teacher in math. Okay. So, ganito lang siya gagawin. So, pero, alam natin, gusto natin sometimes, gusto natin mga teacher to make technique. So, meron mga technique. Okay, in math, the word uh, of, the word of. Okay, so type tayo. The usual type na ginagawa natin. The word of uh, usually uh, refers to which operators. Okay, operators. Tapos dito, uh, addition uh, multiplication, enter division, enter subtraction. Okay? So, yan. Okay, spelling. Then, dito dapat naka-required siya. Okay? So, required yan. Nasasagutan ng bata. Kasi hindi sila pwede mag-skip. Na, ay, ito lang gusto kong sagutan. Hindi pwede. Kaya dapat, teacher, pag gagawa tayo, click na natin yung button na required. Then, this one, dapat piliin natin tong answer key. Kasi, para mapadali yung buhay natin. Matic, meron ng choice si teacher kung anong sagot. So, in this activity, ang sagot niya ay uh, multiplication. Then, let's say, ang points niya, ang bite ni teacher, let's say the points is 5 points. Okay, so click done. Okay, so dito sa side, meron siyang uh, shuffle order. Okay, shuffle natin yan. Para pagka, uh, ano, nag, pagka uh, nag-exam na yung bata, matik, nasa shuffle na. So this one, ayaw natin pahirapan si teacher. Gusto natin, we can duplicate. Yes, we can do that. We can duplicate this one. So for example, meron lang akong i-edit. So for example, in, in math, uh, the word, for example lang, the word sum refers to which operators. Okay, so ganyan pa din yan. So pinalitan ko lang yung uh, the word, okay? Pinalitan ko lang yung the word sum, okay? So the answer is, so syempre lagay natin answer. So since kinapi na natin yan, matik, uh, meron kang same points which is 5 points kasi kinapi natin to from the original. So, but teacher, dapat i-check natin kung tama yung sagot. So, the answer is addition. Okay? Click natin yan. So, addition. Okay? Tapos, again, meron, ano, meron siyang feedback. Okay? Halimbawa nagsasagot si bata, meron siyang feedback. Let's say the feedback is pag incorrect. Okay, pwede natin ilagay. Uh, halimbawa, pwede natin ilagay better, better luck next time. Okay, then pagyan mo rin ng smiley. Okay, then correct answer, good job. So, yung bata, na-encourage din natin. Okay, so yun yun. So, pwede naman na, halimbawa, meron kang video or emoticons na mag-video na very good. So, this one, ginagawa natin na kahit yung bata hindi pumasa, at least mamomotivate siyang mag-retake ulit. Okay, so save. So, marami siyang paraan. Then, done. Okay. Then another thing is, okay, the answer is, okay, so addition, then done. So one last, okay, so 
again, uh, in the, ano naman, in world problem, palitan natin to, in, uh, in world problem, in world problem, the word increase, ayan, di ba? And then yung mga technique refers to which operator. So dito, the answer key is addition, same, then plus point, then same, then copy na rin yung mga feedback for correction and feedback for the incorrect answer, then click done. Okay, so ito na yan. Okay? Okay, may check lang ako sa setting. So, yan. Okay? Okay, save. So, yan. Then, go back to my class. Okay? Then, assign. So, kanino ko siya i-assign? Dito sa, ito, ito sa grade 6 result na kulay violet, then, for the student. So, dalawang students ko. Yan. Then, the score, uh, 100. So, pa parang tigma 5 points. So, for example, 15 lang siya. Okay? So, due date, you can do due date. Okay, halimbawa, meron kang gustong i-due date. Halimbawa, ang due date is mamimili ka kung kailan. But for this example, wala po akong ilalagay ng due date. Pero kung teacher, gagawa ka na ng mga, uh, mga test, pwede kang maglagay ng due date. Then, usual, the usual time is 11.59, di ba? So, yan. Hindi ko muna siya lalagyan ng due date. So, dito, wala naman siyang rubric kasi this is not essay time. This is the multiple choice text. Then, I click assign. So, yan na. So, makikita na ng mga bata kung nasa kanila na yung assignment quiz ko. As you can see in my classwork, ito yung quiz in mathematics na ginawa ko. Tapos meron pa siyang day kung kailan ko siya nagawa. Okay? So, yun yung uh, one way of doing the quiz assignment with the use of Google Forms. So, I suggest teacher, uh, pag-aralan nyo pa yung Google Forms kasi marami pa siyang gamit. Okay, Sir JD? Alright. So, na-assign mo ba yung assignment, ma'am, sa aming mga students? Yes po, na-assign ko. Alright. So, um, pupunta lang kami, ma'am Rox, uh, Rox, classmate Rox, punta tayo sa assignment natin. And um, tingnan natin yung, uh, at sagutan natin yung assignment ni Teacher Weng. So, pakita natin yung screen ni, Miss, uh, ni classmate Rox. Punta ka dun sa quiz na assignment at ako din, pupunta rin ako, sasagutan ko siya. Ayan. So, makikita na natin yung quiz in mathematics. Click lang natin siya. Tapos, click lang natin yung math quiz na ginawa ni Ma'am Weng. Lalabas na po yung Google form. So, ayun. Sasagutin mo lang siya. I think very familiar naman yung mga teachers in terms of how to answer the form. Sasagutan mo lang siya ng... Yung, yung assignment na binigay ni Ma'am Weng. Random ko lang, ano, ra random ko lang siyang answer. Tapos, click lang din ng submit. Ayan. Then, view score. Ayan. Tapos, para makita ko kung um, ilan yung yung tama ko or mali ko na sinagutan ko po, I'll check the view score at makikita ko na po yung mga items. Ayan. Kung saan ako nagkamali at ilan po yung total points ko. So, meron po akong dalawang mali at isang correct. Yan po. Self, ano na po siya? Um, auto, parang autograde na po siya. Alright. So, kita niyo po teachers. Andali lang. Pati si student, may kita niya kung saan po siya may mali at ayun so tingnan pakita natin yung screen ni teacher Weng para makita niya yung pag-import for example tapos na sumagot lahat ng mga students ni teacher Weng teacher Weng okay. will demonstrate naman paano mo um i-import yung um scores from Google Forms na nakuha ng mga teacher ano mga student okay. okay. mo so click ko lang yung grades ayan Ito yon, So, ito si Miss Rox kanina. Okay? So, okay. 
Ito yung, ito yung kanina kasi wala akong due date. Tapos, sa students... Punta ka sa classwork, ma'am. Okay, yan. Sa classwork, then click ko tong quiz in mathematics. Yan. Tapos meron lang nag-turn in, then assign. So, sino kaya itong nag-turn in? Okay, click ko yan. So, ito, ang nag-turn in or nagpasa na ng quiz assignment ay si Ms. Rocks. Okay? So, yan. Pwede may button dito. Uh, click lang turn. Pero the usual, uh, turn in lang. Okay? Okay. And then, then sa click mo to, Okay, sa kanan, click mo to. Import grade. So, are you sure you want to import grade from the quiz and mathematics? Importing grade will overwrite the current grade in classroom. Then, click import. Okay, so for this example, okay. So, yan. So, ito yung score ni Ms. Rock. 5 over 15. Okay, so easy lang po siya, teacher. So, yan. So, very helpful talaga ang Google Classroom. So, ayan po, right. as you can see, import grade, then matic na po nalagay dyan. Okay, Sir JD? Okay, so napaka kadali po um, mga teachers yung pag uh, pagbigay ng assignment na merong auto uh, check feature so automatic no pag binigay mo at sinagutan ni ang student if ikaw yung klase ng teacher na gusto mo na kasi for example formative assessment lang naman siya at uh, gusto mo nabigyan ng chance yung mga bata na sagutan ulit nila yung quiz, pwede rin yun ilagay sa, i-set sa Google Form. So, that's another, I mean, another session that we can probably conduct um, later on. Um, ayun. So, at nakita po ninyo na once na nakasagot na si uh, si classmate Rocks, uh, ay automatic, hindi na nag-check si teacher uh, Wang at uh, in-import na lang niya yung grade from Google Forms to Google Classroom. So, imagine ninyo yung interconnection among these applications in G Suite for Education. Alright. Yes. So, okay. Now, um, Basically, ganun po yung mga features ni uh, ni Classwork. So, Ma'am Dorothy, balik tayo sa screen mo. Okay, so, i-demonstrate naman po ngayon ni Teacher Dorothy. For example, ayun po, no? tapos na po yung mga assignments, na pumasok na po yung mga grade. Paano po ninyo gagawin as a teacher na i-export po yung mga score na yon para ikakapi na nyo na lang tapos ipipaste na nyo na lang sa inyong ECR or electronic class record. Okay? Teacher Dorothy, take it away. All right. So now we're back. Tapos na tayo sa stream, sa classwork and people. Now we go to grades. Ito yung mga nagawa na natin. No? So earlier, punta tayo sa classroom natin and yung classroom ko kanina which is English if I would click on grades makikita natin that I have graded uh, John and Rox already um, so all I have to do now is to export their grades para makakapi and paste ko na lang siya so in order for us to get this one into an into a sheets format all you have to do is to click on the homework and then zoom in natin. Okay. Makikita natin oops, yung gear, yung settings icon natin. From the settings icon, meron tayong tatlong options dyan na pagpipilian. The first one is copy all grades to Google Sheets. That means lahat ng homework na ibinigay natin all throughout that grading will be downloaded and converted into a Google Sheets format, which is in yung makakapi and paste na natin. Another one is download all grades into CSV. So, the download natin siya. And then we can open it to our um, um, our Excel, Excel file, yung mga ganyan. And then the other one is download these grades at CSV. Kapag download these grades lang, yung homework lang na pinili ko, yung download niya for us to copy. So, ang pinaka-advisable natin gamitin is download all grades to Google Sheets. If I would click on that one, lalabas na siya dito. 
Ayan. So, na-export na natin kay Google Sheets. Again, we don't need to open another application. Wala nang maglo-loading. Um, it just opens another tab. And you know what's the advantage of this one? Um, very helpful to sa akin last school year. Netong natapos lang na school year. Kasi bigla nagkaroon ng suspension of classes. And then, imagine mo kung ikaw si teacher, lahat na-checkan mo yung notebook, na-checkan mo yung quizzes nila na one-fourth sheet of paper, quiz booklet. Hindi mo naman pwede uwi lahat yun, lalo na at bawal na, di ba? Naka-ECQ tayo. All I did is just I opened my Google Classroom, kinonvert ko siya, and I have all my files. Dala ko siya in anywhere. I just log in to my account, and then makikita ko na siya right away. So, nandito na yung grades. All I have to do is to copy this one and then paste it on my electronic class record. Ganun na po yun. If you are looking for yung kanina kay Miss Weng, um, nandito niya na-upload yun sa kabilang klase. Eh. So, I'll just click on this one. I'll click on grades then. Pareho lang po, no? And then, ayan. Wala pa yung, ayan. Okay? Oh, kasi so, one student lang yung sumagot. Uh, isang student lang yung sumagot. Uh -oh. I'll copy all grades to Google Sheets. And then, lalabas na rin dyan yung percentage natin. Ayan, we're waiting for it to load. Ayan. So, nandyan na yung ating, nag-reflect na yung ating grades for our students. So, meron tayong homework for na uh, scientific method and yung quiz and mathematics. Di pa yata naka-reflect ni Sweng. Ay, import grades muna natin yan. Ay, import na na yan. Yeah. Import na natin. So, nag-answer si student kanina sa Google um, Forms. When we click on import grades, automatic nag-reflect na siya kay Google Class, kay Google Classroom. So, ito ngayon yung i-convert natin. Mas ko lang po. Convert natin siya into Google Sheets. Right away, nandyan siya. And once you convert it into Google Sheets, automatic po napupunta na siya sa ating Google Drive. And if you're using G Suite, wala po tayong limitation with our storage capability. So, lahat may lalagay natin yun dyan. And then, mag-reflect na po yung ating grades dito. At wala po yung grades ni sa ating na. Ayan. Di pa lang Alright. So, so, nakita nyo na po, uh, mga teachers, yung um, convenience ng pag export ng grade um, in Google Classroom. Ayan. So, it will be a great help for for teachers no for your um computation um copy and paste niyo na lang yung mga score na nakuha ng mga estudyante and it will be uh kumbaga an easy job for you to uh, uh consolidate um the score of your students okay now before i demonstrate or before we demonstrate to all of you yung other applications na interconnected with um Google Class uh yeah with Google Classroom gusto ko sana i-share sa inyo ano or paano yung itsura ng Google Classroom sa mobile okay Okay. So, ayan, let me add let me add my mobile. Okay. I'll get back to uh, mobile later. Right? But for now, um, Teacher Wang will demonstrate to you how to activate Google Meet. All right. Um, nowadays, um, nakikita natin yung uh, video conferencing um, uh, increase no? sa um, organization natin and yung mga webinars sa Google Meet din natin um, now organize or other um, teleconferencing applications. So Teacher Wang will demonstrate to you yes. how to activate 
how to activate no Google Meet okay. in your Google Classroom. Oh, share my screen. If you want to um have a teleconference or video conference with your students, pwede nyo siyang gawin. Okay, Teacher Weng? Okay. So, that's my screen. So, of course, lagi lang kayo pupunta sa page, which, which is the stream. So, pupunta kayo dyan. Then, meron siyang parang gear. So, yan. So, as you can see, meron siyang meet link, generate link. Okay? Tapos ito, ito yung class code. Kanina, meron po ako nabasa na paano yan kung pwede bang, uh, pwede ba na palitan yung mga class code? Pwede naman. So, dito ka pupunta. Okay? Dito rin yun sa meet. Dito sa gear, this one. Okay, click ka dyan. Oh, this is the details of your class. Okay, so ito yung kanina sa general. Okay, sa class code. Pwede mong i-reset, pwede mong i-disable, pwede mong copy. Pwede mong palitan yan. Okay, kung ayaw mo ng 1, 3, 0 and so on, you can reset it. Okay, now how to do the meet. Ito yung meet. Ito yung ginagamit to meet together via online. Okay, ito na yung uso ngayon. Because of the new normal, we need to embrace the use of technology. Kahit na nasa bahay tayo, pwede na nating ma-meet ang ating mga student. Ang capacity ng meet, ng Google Meet na binibigay ngayon is 250. So, kung ilan yung sudyante mo, hati mo yan, tag-50, kung may lima ka, o the sure ball, mamimit mo sila. Kasi in doing classroom, by section naman po yan. Okay? Then, Click nyo lang to, generate meet link. Yan. Click yan. Tapos, visible to the student. Okay? Okay. So, yan. Pagka-click yan, magkakaroon siya ng link. Okay? This is the Google Meet link. And also, pag clinic mo yan, matik na uh, ano na siya, enabled. Then, click. Huwag kalimutan, i-click ang save. Okay? Click, save. Then, punta ka sa stream. Okay? Dito sa stream, eto yon. This is the class code ng grade 6 result. Nandito na yung link. Okay? So, yung students, uh, pwede ka mag-post dito. Halimbawa, okay, class, see you at 5 p.m. Okay? So, since nag-post ka na, na dito, kung, kung magkikita kayo, online so i-click lang ng mga student yang meet na yan so pag click yan try nating i-click ha ayan pag click yan so automatic ayan na makikita mo na yung mga students mo na nami-miss okay so so dapat meron kang rules kung sino yung una magsasalita kung sino yung mag-off ng mic sino yung mag-off ng cam then eto na yung inyong uh, meeting then, mag-join na, then everybody can join. Okay? That's an example how you meet your student using online. Okay? So, using Google Meet via Google Classroom. So, hindi lang assignment, mamimit mo lang sila virtually. Okay? So, yun yung paggamit ng Google Meet. So, madali lang siya gamitin. Kasi once you click na dito, matik siya, balik ka sa, balik ka sa stream, nandito lahat. Okay po? So, yan. So, JD. Alright. So, thank you uh, for that sharing, Ma'am uh, Weng. Siguro, right now, ipakita natin, uh, Ma'am Dorothy, on um, how you can uh, see all the assignments, all the deadlines na sinet mo kanina na nagset ka ng assignments sa Google Calendar and i-share mo din sa amin yung paano na-organize or automatic na create yung mga folders sa Google Drive. So, yung mga nanonood sa atin, we have 18,000 viewers right now. I'm sure the majority of them are using Google Drive to back up their files. So, pakita mo kung paano mo uh, paano ginagawa ng Google Classroom na automatic connected siya with Google Calendar and Google Drive? Nakamute? Ayan, let us go back to our screen. So, ito pa rin yung Google Classroom natin. Now, let us proceed in um, ano yung gusto natin mangyari ngayon? We will be checking Google Calendar. If our calendars na, no? We're using the nine dots or yung ating Google Apps na icon dito sa side natin. Um, we will just click on calendar. 
lahat ng sinet natin na deadlines kanina in our classroom, integrated pa rin siya seamlessly um, with all our subjects. Ayan yung mga subjects natin. Let us just change our view. Reload lang natin yung site. Let us change this. Ayan. Okay. So, makikita natin dito, if you wanted to view, uh, change lang natin. Month. By Upper month. right corner. Ayan. Okay. So, this is the perspective view natin. Pati holidays na andyan nakalagay. Nakalagay dito that we have deadline. This coming Friday, tomorrow, yung ating getting to know you na homework for our each subject or each section natin. Nakabicolor na rin naman tayo dito sa side. Kung ano yung subject natin yun. For example, for English, ang notebook ng bata ko kasi ay arrange my color. Pareho din ang color na notebook natin. Para yung bata familiar din sila ay purple. Ano yan? English subject namin yan. Ganyan. So, I arrange them by this one. And then, um, nakalagay na rin yan doon. Okay? So, we could actually um, see kung ano na yung mga naka-deadline natin. Meron akong experience last school year. Um, nagkaroon ng suspension of classes. Tapos nag-resume. Ginawa namin. So, ma'am, can we move the deadline for us to meet with with the practical activities? So, nakikita rin ng bata yun that we are moving our schedules through our calendars. Any additional, Sir JD? Um, Google Drive. Okay, so let us now proceed with our Google Drive. Pwede tayong bumalik sa classroom or since nandito na rin tayo kay calendar, we will just click on this one, our Google Apps, and then nandiyan na lahat eh. From Gmail, Classroom, Drive, and all our other seats, no? So, if we would just click on Google Drive, having the same email account, nandiyan na tayo, we are seamlessly um, integrated with one another. Mayroon tayong automatic na ginagawa si Google Classroom. Once you created your Google Classroom, your uh, si Google Classroom nag-create siya ng folder. Okay? Yung folder ng classroom mo, nilalagay niya rin doon, siya na yung organize nung mga top, nung mga subject natin or sections na ginawa natin and all its content. So, lahat ng submissions for grade 6 uh, sabihin nating Rizal English, when I open this one, yung mga sinabit ng mga bata natin nandito yon At yung ginawa nating template kanina, yung copy ni teacher, yung hindi inedit ng sudyante, nandito naman siya sa template section natin or templates folder na kalagay. So, all submissions na getting to know you, Nag-submit na si Rox, si John, nandiyan na yung mga assignments nila. Same goes with other um, section kanina natin, yung kay Rizal natin. Um, with our mathematics, yan. We have scientific method, getting to know you. Math quizzes is also included. So, nandiyan naman po yung mga gawa ng mga sudyante natin. So, everything is integrated. Everything is right there. Um, all you have to do is to remember siguro your username and password. Once you have it, kahit anong mangyari sa laptop mo, ito yung kadalasang uh, i-issue mo ng teachers na tulong sa akin. Ma'am, nakorap yung laptop ko. Paano na yung mga gawa ko? Ganyan. Or nagka-suspension of classes nasa, nasa school yung aking gawa. All you have to do is to log in to any computer. Kahit nga mobile device, pwede. You just log in there. Remember, just Kailangan tanda mo yung password mo, no? And then everything is nandun na dala-dala mo basa at right in your fingertips. So, yun po with our Google Drive. Sir JD, right. anything that you wanted to add? Okay, I think that's the uh, majority of um, what we want to share sa Google Drive and Google Calendar integrated in Google Classroom. Okay. So, um, teachers, uh, we have around 17,000 viewers right now. Maraming maraming salamat. Mm -hmm. That's basically the, the basic things that you need to know about Google Classroom, our dear teachers. I hope we have contributed um, to the way you want to approach the, the new normal in the uh, uh, 
uh, in the upcoming uh, school year. All right. So that is Google Classroom for Education. And now we shall allot our remaining time for um, questions. So, so mga teachers po na nanonood both in the Facebook page uh, and in the YouTube, you may now um, put in put in your questions, but we don't guarantee that we will be able to answer um, all of your questions. So, pasensya na po with that. Ayan. Mm -hmm. Medyo madami po yung katanungan nila, no? But, okay, um, pero may mga sinave tayong questions kanina. Uh, number one, um... Okay, basahin ko lang yung question. Ma'am, pwede po bang regular Gmail account ang gamitin yung student para makapasok sa Google Classroom? I think I can answer for that. Yes po, pwede pong uh, mag-login or mag-sign uh, up ang student for a regular gmail.com account. Okay, um, sa rules po ni Google, only above 13 years old, one three ang pwedeng mag-create ng gmail.com accounts. But it would be very, very beneficial if your own school, if your school or your division, okay, your city will have its own G Suite for Education domain, such as, for example, deped.gov.ph. However, for deped.gov.ph, hindi, hindi pwedeng mag-create ng accounts sa mga bata. But um, your division office, uh, may apply to have G Suite for Education account. Um, you just email education uh, at qsr.com.ph. For our private school teach um, administrators, if you want to bring in G Suite for Education in your school, just email QSR um, Google's local partner in the Philippines. Their email is education.qsr.com.ph. Another question. Um, Will the students and parents need Gmail account? So, nasagot na rin natin siya. So, sa mga parents, of course, I hope they use Gmail if they want to be in the Google Classroom. Ayan. Um, let me just... Can we post... Uh, on Dorothy, can we post um, um, alien files or foreign files in Google Classroom, such as PDF, photos, video and other um, documents. Sure. Um, sige. I think we could show that one. Okay. So, for example, gusto natin mag-upload mag ng material natin. Okay. Um, all we have to do is either go to stream or mao kay classwork tayo. Kasi reference material yung gagamitin natin. Um, we could click on material. Okay, once we click on the material, um, we will now type, for example, reference. For, uh, sabi natin, English. Okay, and then mag a na ako ng foreign um, file. So halimbawa, nasa Google Drive, uh, nasa files ko siya sa computer ko. All I have to do is to click on that one and then select from your drive. Sige, pipili tayo ngayon ng file natin. For example, um, a narrative of Andres Bonifacio integrity. Ay, ito na lang. Um, since I'm teaching computer, mag-upload ako ng BIOS na file. So this is PDF file. So all I have to do is to click on that one. I'll click on upload and automatic makikita na yan ng mga sudyante ko. They could browse in my PDF file for that lecture. So normally, ginagamit ko po ito for, for my classes. I'm using Flip Classroom po kasi. So what I do, I assign this reference during Friday para mabasa ng mga sudyante ko yung files ko during the weekend. Ayan. So once they click that one, andyan na po yung lesson namin for BIOS. So that's it. That's for right. PDF. Okay. Yeah. So may another question tayo dito. I, I hope ma-present ko siya. Um, question, how many students and teachers can be accommodated in one classroom? This is a very interesting question from one, one of our <laughs> audience. Kunapipaste ko lang, no? Teachers, ito po, no? 
for teachers po, up to 20 teachers can be inside a Google Classroom. So that's too much, actually, for one class. Normally, meron tayong eight subjects, eight to ten subjects, so ten teachers can be in one classroom. But in Google Classroom, especially if your domain or have G Suite for Education, you can have um, 20 teachers in one classroom. Paano naman ang student? Any guess? Ma'am Weng, any guess? Ma'am Rox? In Google Meet can be done in 250. Higher. Diba? Uh, I think uh, a thousand. Correct. <laughs> okay. Imagine <laughs> 1,000 students can, can be inside one Google class. So 20 teachers and 1,000 students. So that's actually too much. But imagine the, the bandwidth or the, the amount uh, that Google is providing us teachers to collaborate with our students. So 20 teachers, 1,000 students. Yes. Wag naman siguro right. natin i-maximize yung 1,000, no? Oo, mahirap i-manage yun. Uh -oh. May, okay. may, may ka pareho siya, Sir JD, na question kanina. Ang tanong niya is, paano nga raw yung sectioning? What we do, our best practice po kasi, is for every teacher, yung per klase niya meron siya. So pwede rin naman na, so isang buong klase, tapos lahat ng teachers nandun para isang access lang. Kaya lang when you are, siguro magiging problem mo doon, when you're consolidating the grades sa dulo kapag in-extract mo, halo-halo naman si subject ni math, ni English, and whatsoever. So mas maganda po, per section, isang, isang klase mo. Para kapag in-extract mo yung grades mo, panay sa'yo lang yon So mas mabilis po yung copy and paste natin with that one. Alright, so thank you po, Ma'am Dorothy. May, may, meron na kong utang, sabi nga ni Sir Edward, pinaalala niya. Sir, uh, Sir JD, what about the use of mobile? Um, I cannot um, stream the content of my mobile, but um, Google Classroom has an application, has a mobile app. All right. Pasensya na I have to show my the, the screen of my mobile phone. But there is a Google Classroom application. All right. And for example, this is a teacher account. All right. Ayan. So my teacher account siya. If I click that and I click the assignment, I click the student. I can open um I can open his um his work. Okay. Ayan. So for example, si Elio, I can open document. Ayan, makikita nyo na open yung essay na ginawa. All right. And then, dito, pwede po nang i-check yung assignment niya. So, i-zoom ko lang siya, scroll down, scroll up. Ayan. And I can um, put the score of my student. So, kahit na nasa basa ko, nagka-travel ako. Um, mga teachers natin, ma ma ano yan eh, nagka-travel probably an hour to home. So, you might want to take advantage of your time. Okay? On, a, on Google Classroom uh, using your mobile phone. All right? Okay, ayan, so, sir, meron okay. tayong common question na na-encounter. Sure. sure. Ang common question natin is, paano yung walang internet sa bahay or walang mobile phone sa bahay? So, in my experience po kasi, what I do, kaya nakita nyo kanina yung rubrics ko na students submitted ahead of time, Meron tayong students na pwedeng gawin during during class habang wala pa, hindi pa nagsa-start. So meron akong ganung option sa klase ko. I am a public school teacher in um, Addition Hills. So uh, karamihan po ng bata namin, wala pong internet connection sa bahay. So what we do with our preliminaries, yung first part ng lesson namin is, i-announce ko na agad, naka-flash na sa screen. Sino na yung nakapag-turn in? Sino yung hindi pa nakapag-turn in? And then, yung karamihan ng bata na nagsasabi, Ma'am, pwedeng ano, magsagot ako ngayon, ganyan. So, I let them submit their work kasi ayaw naman natin na they will not be graded dahil lang wala silang internet connectivity. So, what we do, yun doon, sa, sa before mag-start yung class, they could answer that one. Or minsan, we, in my school, nagkaroon kami ng 
uh, uh, session, for example, pang umaga yung senior high school students namin. Ang ginawa namin, on the afternoon, this particular section, on Monday, kayo yung makakagamit ng laboratory for you to answer all your homeworks. And then, yun, ganon. So, ang usapan naman with the faculty, teachers magbigay ng homework na may one week in advance para mamimit naman ng batang mga gusto talagang makasubmit ahead of time para they could be counted. So, yun yun. Um, ganun lang po siguro it's about how you, the faculty and the administration, could plan para naman maging fair. Hindi lang mataas ang grade kasi may internet sa bahay. Yes. So, yun po yung normal practice namin sa, sa Andres Bonifacio Integrated School. Alright, so another question is that Google Classroom app available in Play Store for Android users. So, yung pinakita ko po kanina, Sir Iman, um, ay Android phone. So, meron po siya for Android phone. At meron din naman po siya for iOS, for Apple users. So, um, meron po siya sa lahat ng platform. Pati po sa web, meron din po siya. Okay? Ayan, so, so we, we are still receiving. Sir, uh, sir ma'am Wen. May tanong siya, how can we know if our DepEd account is already in G Suite? Actually, ang DepEd, meron siyang domain. Okay? Uh, meron na siyang G Suite. Ang problem is, sa teacher po yun. Meron po talaga sa teacher. But ang magiging problem natin is yung bata. Kasi dapat, pareho kayo dapat ng domain. Eh. If the, ang Gmail ng teacher is, halimbawa, rowenerays at deped.com.ph, dapat si bata ganun din. Yung DepEd account is for the teacher lang po. Although meron siyang G Suite. So kaya Sir JD sinasabi niya na kanina na better na ang school ay merong domain to protect the student and also lahat ng functionality ng Google ay uh, capable of using that. Although capable naman in personal Gmail. So yun po. Yes, yes. So, it's also, gusto ko rin ibalita, no, um, I am actually working with different IT officers in, uh, actually, nationwide, so that their domain in their division can have G Suite for Education. Um, three years ago, in our division, man, um, Mandaluyong City, meron na rin po kaming deptedmandaluyong.org na domain, um, aside sa deptedgov.ph, so may G Suite po yun. Lagpas, um, 50% of divisions in the National Capital Region ay naka-G Suite na din, including DepEd Makati, Ma'am Weng, mayroon na rin kayong G Suite. Yes, in DepEd Makati, mayroon na po. Ano, Okan, um, uh, what else? So, Manila, Quezon City, so yung mga big uh, advice, uh, big uh, divisions natin, mayroon na Marikina, ayan, Malabon, so Paranaque, and um, even yung mga divisions na, na sa uh, Visayas and Mindanao, if the IT officers are interested in having G Suite for Education for their domain, you can just email um, QSR, education at qsr.com or look for me in the DepEd workplace so that I can help them. Okay? Okay. For, for IT Sir officers, JD. yeah. Yes. Sir JD, pakita ko lang yung sa screen ko, yung kanina yung mobile na tinatanong nila, if it's uh, possible. So, ganito po yung itsura ng, asa na yun? Ayan na. Are we sharing my screen? So, uh, this is a white screen. Like a white screen na yung nakikita mo. Nakikita na ba siya? Hindi ba? Not yet. So sa mga viewer po na nabigay na namin yung overview how to use the Google Classroom, I encourage to all teacher na i-practice po ito. Kasi po mahalaga na ano man yung nakita at napanood natin, kailangan po natin i-practice, explore, huwag po tayong matakot. Kasi po kung tayo po eh, iniisa-isa natin turuan ng bata, ganun din po tayo. Whatever knowledge we watch, we learn, we need to practice it step by step po. So, para ma-master po natin yung skills. Yan lang po ang pwede kong ma-advise. Right. So, tama. So, meron po tayong comment na nakapag-email na po sila sa education at qsr.com.ph and um, in behalf of QSR, um, uh, na na nakatanggap 
po sila ever since last night na nagkaroon po ng session um ang ang GC for Education with Sir Gary and Sir Adrian they received more than a thousand of emails um expressing their interest on in having GC for Education actually okay. around 1500 so it's kind of hard to um answer uh to all of your emails right away so i hope if you send an email um you just uh wait for the response of um of qsr because definitely they will uh respond to your um to your um inquiry in that email so i will share the screen of mom dorothy now at para ipakita niya yung kanyang iphone at ang kanyang mobile version of um, google classroom Diba? So, ganito lang po yung itsura nung, nung mobile phone natin inside the classroom. So, basically, nandyan yung classes natin. Makikita natin na ito yung klase ko kay Rizal, English, and then Rizal. If I would click on English, then nakikita natin dyan, um, dismiss lang natin yan, yung mga gawa ng mga sudyante natin. So, we have new assignment, getting to know you, and then yung welcome natin. So, I could click on that one. Nakita ko na yung grades ni John tsaka ni Rox. Nandun na siya. My instructions are also right there. So, ganun lang po. Adali, um, in using your mobile phone in checking your your student's work. So, lahat ng topics natin nandiyan. So, madali lang. Um, kahit nasa biyahe, may mga teachers tayong bumabiyahe. Pakavite, ganyan. So, while Nasa biyahe, pwede na tayong mag-check ng work ng mga sudyante natin kasi right away, nandun naman siya. Then, meron din nagtanong kanina, what if uh, walang gadget yung isang bata? Can they share one gadget for two accounts or dalawang sudyante yung gagamit ng gadget? Pwede naman po mag-log off lang. So, once you log off to your to your classes in your classroom and then pwede ka nang mag, magpalagay ng another student na maglalagi na doon. So, just click on that one, change your user, and then that's it. So, hindi naman din sila mag-share ng isang score dahil lang uh, iisa lang yung gadget. All they have to do is to be there and sign out, sign in, ganun. Yes. All right. So, um, I think majority of the features in Google Classroom ay nasagot na natin and the majority of the questions, the common questions are um, have been answered. So I would like to share my screen right now and just give some um, give some reminders. So if you want to know about um, different applications of uh, G Suite for Education, you just go to Google for Education Teacher Center. Um, click edu.google.com slash teacher-center. Ayan. Marami pong mga resources dyan that uh, uh, pwede pong makatulong sa inyo on um, on managing your class. Okay. And then, um, again, I will flash the email of USR, Google's local um, partner. And then, if you want to hang out with us, you know, be a member of our community, meet us uh, in, in our social media platforms, like our page, or join our group. Meron pong existing Facebook page at Facebook group, ang Google's, Google Educators Group Philippines, okay, or GEG Philippines. Please join us so that we can share to you our uh, knowledge no other yeah. tips and techniques on um on G Suite for education okay so i'm going to um remove my screen and go back to the four of us um may magandang ano question dito sir JD may pahabol na sure. question okay yeah, one last ang question ang teacher is pwede ba akong mag-assign ang homework na ngayon pa ngayon gagawa na ako for a certain schedule of time, malibawa, gawa na ako ng gawa ngayon, tapos lalagyan ko na siya ng schedule. So, the answer for that one po is yes, um, meron tayo yung due date naman doon, meron din tayo kung kailan lang din i-upload yung date natin for a certain homework, kasi we have a lot of time to prepare, so magandang handa na ang mga guro natin. Alright, so tama ka dyan, Ma'am Dorothy. Okay, so um, nandito pa ba si Sir Gab and Sir Jason? Sir Gab, maraming salamat sa bounce back 
Philippines for having us. Uh, Bounce Back Philippines and the Practical Learning Company na nakikita po ninyo sa screen. Ayan. So, maraming salamat po for giving us this platform to share to our fellow educators. Yes. And this is brought to you by uh, Practical Learning Company. You can like their Facebook page. Kung saan po kayo nanonood ngayon, just like, this, uh, just like their Facebook page. And then, um, GEG Philippines and QSR. Again, ako po si JD Mercado. Ang inyo pong Google Certified um, Trainer and Innovator. Mueng. Okay, ako po si Rowena Reyes. But for now, uh, gusto ko lang po kayong i-invite. Next week, ang DepEd EdTech Unit uh, page. Meron pong mga series of webinar. I invite you to watch and learn po. Go to uh, visit our Facebook page po. Thank you so much for listening. Hope you learn a lot. I'm Darcy. Yes, maraming maraming salamat po for spending your two and a half hours with us. I hope you learned a lot. Marami po nagko-comment na pwede bang ma-review. Yes po, just go back to to uh, our video later on. Then you could review and walk with it, walk through it para masundan natin at handa na po tayo sa darating na kasapan. Stay safe and stay at home. Thank you po. All right. And Ma'am Rocks. Hello, thank you for being with us this afternoon. Hope you learned something. <laughs> See you. All right. So thank you, Sir Gab, for announcing. Also, if you wanna, if you, this is shameless plug, if you wanna subscribe to my channel, I'll be uploading some videos of tutorials there. You just click subscribe. All right. So um uh, Ma'am Weng, Ma'am Dorothy, and Miss Rox, and, and of course, sa akin, maraming salamat sa at <laughs> for sharing um, our knowledge on Thank Google you so Plan. much. Maraming Thank salamat you. po sa mga maraming teacher salamat. na nanonood Thank you, guys. Atin. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. All right. Bye, everyone.